Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back or if you're new, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the puzzles that I completed for the month of September. There weren't quite as many as I would have liked, but I think I did some really gorgeous colorful ones and ones that were really nice quality. So I'm looking forward to showing you those. And there's a good mix of ones from Instagram, some that I did videos on and some that I just felt like doing. Also, if you're curious about any, um, I'll be popping all the details for each puzzle in the description box below. These aren't in any particular order, although if uh, there's more than one puzzle from a certain brand, I've grouped those together. So let's go through this stack here. So this first puzzle is from the New Zealand brand Peace House, and that was my first time trying the brand and I was pretty impressed. Uh, so this puzzle is 1000 pieces. It's called Classic As, and it's by the artist Finn Jerry Wilson. And for all of their puzzles, they uh, use artwork by New Zealand based artists, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, this one is uh, features all different New Zealand icons, like famous sites and like things. Um, so yeah, it was really fun sort of like discovering what a lot of these were because a lot I didn't really know about or maybe didn't remember because I haven't been to New Zealand for quite some time. Uh, but yeah, I discovered there was a giant carrot and a giant gum boot, a giant bottle of delicious, um, I think it's called, is it LNP? I think that's what it's called. Um, and there's also, like so quirky a fence that's just got like flip-flops all on it so yeah really bizarre but yeah a lot of really fun things and i really um like the artwork style it's so like bright and colorful and like very like sort of cartoony and has these like thick bold outlines and a lot of like really interesting patterned line work yeah very uh yeah this style is like very much my vibe i really like it i just think it's really fun yeah so i really enjoyed that um and I really like the packaging and the quality as a whole. It was, I was quite impressed. So not only is the box really nice and sturdy and yeah, feels like high quality and so sort of luxurious, um, but the puzzle pieces come in like a really nice canvas zipper bag. Um, it doesn't come with a poster, although you've got the image, the whole image on the front and also slightly bigger on the back. Um, yeah, and then as for the pieces, actually I realized that they're really similar to the Minty Fizz puzzle pieces. So if you like those, you'd probably like these as well. So they're a nice gray board, very like thick, chunky pieces. Um, the, the fit's a little bit on the looser side, so they fit well together, so there's no false fits, but picking up sections is a little bit tricky. Sometimes they hold together if you're gentle, but sometimes they can be a bit crumbly. Um, not too much dust, I don't think. And then as for the surface, um, it's a little bit different than the Minty Fizz puzzles, or at least the ones I tried recently. Um, yeah, the surface is fairly smooth, but it has a very faint or subtle linen sort of finished texture. Um, they're fairly matte, maybe a little bit of sheen. But yeah, overall, really nice, definitely impressed. Um, I've got a few more from them in my to-do pile, so I'm definitely looking forward to doing those sometime, because yeah, I just really had fun doing this one. And then next up, I've got a couple here from an Australian brand, One But Many, which is one of my favorite brands. And this first one is uh, 1000 Pieces, and it's from their collection called Home, and this one's called Port Ferry, and it's by the artist Alice Chu. So Port Ferry is uh, a town in Victoria in Australia. Um, I don't know if I've actually been there. If I have, it must have been when I was really little, because I don't remember, but it looks really fun and pretty, like it looks like a lovely place, very relaxing. So. This is not the whole image, like this image sort of wraps around, but there is a nice big poster inside. So, um, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, the image, yeah, basically features sort of like, I guess the port at Port Ferry or the sort of marina and houses and people just doing stuff at the port. So swimming, going on boats, that sort of thing. But, and there's like pelicans and things. So yeah, it's really fun and um, bright and colorful and a nice sort of whimsical style. And actually the artist style is kind of similar to the previous artist with like these sort of bright colors and bold lines and like a lot of patterned like line work as well. So yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, yeah, and I always love the one but many quality. It's definitely some of my favorite. Um, I mean, the box and packaging is always really nice, very sturdy and very luxe feeling. And um, the pieces come in a fabric bag, get the nice big poster. But yeah, the pieces themselves, they're like a nice sort of medium thickness, gray board. They hold together really well. Like the fit is very comfortable. You can pick up sections. So 
oh, there's like never any false fits. So I'm always like really impressed by that. Um, what else? I think there's like a tiny bit of dust. And um, this particular collection, the surface of the pieces is like kind of a smooth papery sort of finish. It does have a tiny bit of sheen sometimes, but it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, overall really like this brand. And I think the images are just beautiful. And then the next one is, yeah, also by uh, One But Many from the same collection and the same artist, but this one's called The Burbs. And yeah, it's just sort of features like a sort of country town, suburban type area of somewhere in Australia. Um, and yeah, it's just got all these colorful little buildings and shops and houses. And yeah, it's really pretty. Again, very whimsical and uses lots of like bright colors and sort of bold line work and different like line patterns. and. Yeah, and it's just sort of fun. There's like lots of, in both actually, there's lots of details. You've got, you know, people from the area doing all sorts of things and, you know, people walking their dogs and riding bikes and, yeah, and like I think people at cafes and things. So, yeah, and again, this is not the whole image, but uh, like the other one, it comes with a nice big poster and fabric bag and the pieces are beautiful. So, yeah, really enjoyed this one as well. And then next, um, we've got a, another really nice puzzle. There's a lot of nice puzzles uh, from September. So this one is uh, by the brand uh, Water and Wines and it's their California 1000 piece wine puzzle. I'm not at all a wine drinker, but their puzzles are just like so beautiful. Like they always have the most fun, colorful, interesting artwork. Uh, but yeah, it's basically a map of California, but it's uh, got all these like really fun illustrations sort of you know, either of uh, like wine related things or like uh, imagery that represents that, like things from that country or that area, like in this case from California, the state. Um, so it's got like, you know, all this uh, pretty like San Francisco, but then sort of like 1960s, 70s hippie era psychedelic stuff going on, which is really fun, like the sort of, you know, hippie movement. Um, and then there's like more like historical things uh, like the Pony Express. <laughs> uh, yeah, and all sorts of stuff and like old ships and it's got like that uh, bear on the surfboard and yeah, it's really fun. And then it sort of, I guess, has all these little labels of, I guess, different, where different wines are like located in California. So yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, but also, so yeah, not only is the artwork really like fun and jam packed full of details, but the like rest of the packaging has lots of like wine facts as well. So the back of the box has like, what's it got? Um, all the different types of wine. And then even like on the inside, you've got like things about know your wine glasses. And yeah, so there's all sorts of like kind of educational and beautiful illustrations included with these puzzles. Um, so as for the quality, it's yeah, really nice. Like um, these are actually really similar to, or pretty much the same as Art and Fable. So the box as well as the pieces has this really soft, like velvet touch feel. So it's like a soft sort of silicon, very buttery smooth. Um, and then the pieces are the same sort of finish. So the pieces in these are really nice. They're sort of like a thin to medium thickness, sort of gray board. They fit really nicely together. Um, and they have, yeah, again, the surface is like, this beautiful, smooth, soft, buttery, like it's so addictive. You just always want to like touch the box or the puzzle when you've done it. Um, oh, and the other thing I should mention is just like Art and Fable, the, like this surface is really like matte, like it just absorbs all light. There's no reflection at all. So it's really cool. So it makes photographing a puzzle really great and working with it fantastic. Um, yeah, so I definitely really love these. I've, this is the second one I've done and I've really, enjoyed both. Um, what else? Oh yeah, it comes with a big poster. Doesn't come with a, uh, like resealable bag. Um, and I think it comes with a box stand. So yeah, overall very luxurious and high quality and yeah, beautiful image and really nice quality and overall experience. Um, and then we've got one here from Falcon Contemporary and this is 1000 pieces. Did I mention that the other one was 1000 pieces? Well, that was 1000 pieces as well. This is called The Marina and it's by Ben the Illustrator. Cool name. And yeah, it's just really bright, fun, colorful uh, image of a marina and like a little, I guess, all the shops and buildings and apartments and things at the marina. And it's just 
I love the colors. It's like bright pastels, like I love this sort of pinky, orangey, like I guess sunset or maybe dawn, I don't know. And then a sunrise, sunset, and this beautiful like turquoise, teal water and the pretty like candy colored buildings. It's all really pretty and the style is very like kind of stylized and whimsical and it's got lots of little details. Like it's even like a dog on a boat and yeah, people like exercising and like, I don't know, chatting and meeting up and just hanging out and yeah, all these different boats and things and all these like pretty hot air balloons. So yeah, it's a really fun, pretty image. I really enjoyed it. Um, and uh, I've done a previous um, Falcon contemporary puzzle before, which I really enjoyed. So yeah, I have to say like the quality of these is quite nice. Um, like the box and everything's nice, I think. I don't think it comes with a, no, I had to use my own bag. So it's pretty simple packaging, but it's like nice. Um, but yeah, the pieces are pretty nice quality. So looking at them, sometimes I have to look at pieces because I sometimes like can't remember everything. But yeah, gray board, they're kind of like smallish pieces actually. And like pretty, I guess, medium sturdy thickness. And yeah, there has a fairly matte finish, like maybe a little bit of sheen, but it's sort of got a linen kind of texture finish to it. And yeah, from memory, uh, the pieces fit together pretty nicely um, and hold together pretty well. I think you can pick up sections reasonably well. I think from memory, there was only like maybe one or two false fits, if that. But yeah, overall, really quite nice quality. I um, can't remember if there was dust or not. It might have been a little bit. I, I don't think it was excessive. I think otherwise I would remember that. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed the couple of puzzles I've done from Falcon Contemporary. They have like a few others in the range, but I really hope they sort of expand their designs because I think they're just really nice and they're usually fairly affordable like I think I grabbed this one from Amazon and it was quite a reasonable price you know like less than Ravensburger um, so yeah but anyway I love the image I think it's really fun and cute and yeah really enjoyed the quality as well and then we've got a few more here and then we'll move to the other stack so this next one here is from the, I guess, brand Martin Schwartz, and it's the Copenhagen 1000 pieces, and it's sort of like this special pride edition. So it's a gorgeous rainbow, uh, like artwork featuring all these like different buildings and things from Copenhagen. And yeah, it's really pretty. Um, it's sort of like, I guess, an artist's interpretation, like it's not exactly how the city looks, but from what I understand, the artist like sort of grabs all different interesting buildings and elements from around the city and like puts it into this interesting sort of collage and I never know quite how the artwork's done but it like almost looks like photos but then it looks like illustrations and it's always like really hyper detailed um, there's like like lots of little shadows of things there's little trees um, not necessarily well sometimes there's people oh, I don't think there's any people in it but sometimes you see cars like there's a bicycle down there a little garden down there yeah, it's really interesting and I really love the colors and that it's a pride puzzle. I think it's really cool. Yeah, there's like lots of different cities. Um, so previously I've done the Berlin one and that was like uh, really fun to do. And just um, even though that one wasn't a pride one, it was still really colorful in its own right and had lots of really fun, interesting details and buildings. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one. It was actually really quick to put together because I basically just sorted by colored sort of strips and just like knocked out each little like line of colorful buildings. So yeah, it's really addictive and fun to put together. Um, so yeah, love the artwork of these. Um, the quality is, mm, it's okay. It's not my favorite. It, I mean, it is still nice quality, but there's a few cons about it. So the pieces are like a pretty nice, medium, sturdy thickness, gray board. Um, they fit okay, like they fit okay together, although it's more of a looser fit, so you can't really pick up sections too easily. And I have occasionally had like a false fit here and there. Um, not too many, like a couple. I um, can't remember if there's dust. Maybe a little bit, can't be too excessive. Again, otherwise I'd probably remember that. Um, and the surface is like, I guess similar to the box actually, it's like a sort of smooth papery surface. So it does have a little bit of sheen sometimes, unfortunately. Um, and like overall though, it's still like a high quality puzzle, but um, there's probably definitely other brands like even Ravensburger that I probably prefer a little bit better just because I like the fit and the surface a bit better but yeah it's still really nice and um, I would definitely do more of these but yeah really enjoyed it oh and I forgot to mention actually that these 
always come with like a poster, like a nice big poster on one side and then on the other side of the poster is like a sort of key of what the buildings are. Although it's usually in the language of like whatever they speak in the city. So I think this one's like posters in Danish, whereas like the Berlin one was in German. So it's kind of interesting, but not always super helpful, I guess. And then we've got a couple more here. So I've got two uh, puzzles here that I did from micro puzzles and I actually did a video on this. So I'll link that up in the cards. So these, oh, ah, I'm gonna knock these flying. So this first one is the, I think it's called Llama Bama Ding Dong. Such a funny name. And yeah, it's just, uh, these are both like test tube puzzles and have teeny weeny cute tiny pieces. They're both 150 pieces each. Um, and yeah, I, I had a lot of fun with these. This is my first time sort of like trying anything like this. And yeah, this one features a very fun, colorful llama with a pot plant of cactus plants on its back. I don't know why, and then cute little colorful uh, lights. And it's got, um, it's wearing like a colorful saddle and little kind of like tassel decoration things. But yeah, it looks really cute. It was very fun to do. They were, this was really quick to do and it took like 40 minutes or something like that. Um, so the quality of these is like, I mean, it's okay. I mean, what can you expect for like something so tiny and novelty, I guess. Um, the pieces are surprisingly kind of thick and sturdy, even though it's so tiny. Um, and they are all like grid cut, but two tabs. So that does mean you do end up with some false fits. They're not all the same shape though. Like surprisingly, even though they're all like two tab pieces, um, they don't always fit in the same spot as other ones. But this particular image, because there was like a lot of sort of blue sky and white llama wool and greenery and stuff, um, I did have some false fits, but eventually I got there. And the pieces sometimes hold together if you're gentle. And there's a little bit of puzzle dust and they are pretty glossy, shiny little pieces. So they can be a little bit hard to see, especially because you've got like tiny details. Plus if you've got a bit of glare, <laughs> It's a, it's a bit tricky, um, but yeah, still really enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun. I've got, a, I think, three others to do still. So I'm definitely looking forward to doing those. Um, but yeah, I think, yeah, pretty good fun. And then the other, oh, oh stay, stay. <laughs> and then the other micro puzzles one that I did, uh, yeah, same 150 pieces and the quality of the pieces is the same. This one's called Fish Doodle, I think. And yeah, this one, actually I didn't have any false fit false fits with this one mainly I think because everything in this design was so distinct so it's like this little really jam-packed sort of super patterned detailed underwater scene with all these little fish and jellyfish and bubbles and seaweed and shells and yeah all sorts of stuff but it's like really colorful really patterned so it was very easy to tell like there were very distinct sections in the image. So it was actually really easy to tell where things went. So yeah, I didn't really have any false fits, I don't think. But yeah, that was a really fun one to do as well. Really enjoyed it. Um, I thought the image was really cute. Like both of these are just, yeah, really cute. Um, and yeah, I definitely, again, would do more of these. Uh, so that's it from this stack. So let's take a look at the other stack. These next couple are from the brand Minty Fizz Puzzles and I just did a video on uh, these really recently. So I'll pop those in the cards as well. And that was my first time trying the brand and I'm super grateful and happy that I got to try them because I've been wanting, like dying to try them for ages and they've been on my wish list for the longest time. And um, I think I even did a video end of last year like with like 10 brands I wanted to try and these, this was one of the brands. So yay, I finally got to try them. And yeah, I really, um, really enjoyed my experience with these and just love the artwork and yeah i think it's a really yeah really nice brand so yeah this uh particular puzzle is 1000 pieces and it's called gilded berries um and this is not the whole image but you got the whole image on the back plus there's a little reference picture included inside um and yeah the artwork is all done by uh kelly who uh, essentially like is the i guess owner or creator of midi fizz puzzles so it's just a small family run um puzzle company but yeah all the images are just so colorful and like happy and vibrant and rainbow and like totally my style so you know really pleased to be able to try these and yeah this is such a beautiful image featuring all these like sort of gold outlined or gilded I guess leaves and berries and yeah all the I guess turn around all the uh, leaves are really beautiful colors pinks purples teals it's beautiful like 
sort of bright greens and oranges and these lovely like rich red berries so yeah this one was quite tricky to put together though it took me quite a long time and so it's definitely more on the challenging side um, but just I think it looked really stunning when it was done so definitely worthwhile definitely worth the effort um, yeah and then as for like packaging and stuff yeah the packaging um, it's like really nice and sturdy feels very luxurious and high quality and um, yeah it comes with the the little reference picture and they, it comes in a resealable Ziploc bag, so that's cool. Um, and the pieces themselves, so I was talking about the, I think it's Peace House, the New Zealand brand earlier, and these are pretty much, like, they're really, really similar pieces. So um, in this particular puzzle, the pieces are like really thick and chunky, like super chunky and lovely gray board, and the fits are really nice. I'm, I think the whole time doing this whole puzzle, there were like no false fits at all, so really impressed, um, not too much dust. Uh, what else? Oh, the surface is a little bit different than the New Zealand brand. So it's like a very smooth, there's no texture on it at all. It feels like it should be shiny, but it's actually very matte. Um, and yeah, like barely any sheen, but yeah, it feels, feels like there should be. So it feels, um, if you've ever done like Magnolia puzzles, it's got a really similar surface to that where it's like super smooth, but also quite matte. Um, and then yeah, the pieces are on the looser side though with the fit um, If you're gentle you can sort of pick up some sections, but they can be a little bit crumbly um, But yeah overall though really yeah beautiful brand um, Really was impressed with both the artwork of course and yeah the overall quality was just really nice to work with very enjoyable um, Yeah, just really really loved it And then I got to also try a really cute adorable little 500 piece one I just love the box size of this I think it's like just the cutest thing it's really nice um, so again the image is like stunning uh, this one's called stained windows and 500 pieces and yeah, just uh, yeah so there's part of the image on the front and then the whole image is on the back and also you get a little re reference picture inside as well um, but yeah this one's really beautiful um, just yeah love the sort of watercolor painty effect and the colors it's really pretty um, and then yeah the quality is pretty similar to the 1000 piece one the piece size is a little bit bigger though and what else um, but everything else is pretty much the same like same nice fit and gray board and quite thick and chunky as well I think the same thickness um, and smooth surface without like any shine really um, there was only I had one slight little issue with this one where once I'd finished the puzzle some of the pieces wouldn't sit completely flat like it was really subtle though because I couldn't find any like actual bent pieces at all All the pieces looked flat when I like was looking at individual pieces but then there must have been something very very subtle happening where um, sometimes like one side of a piece would like you know sort of not sit completely flat but then if you push it down sometimes another one nearby would like kind of pop up but it wasn't like too many it was just sort of a handful of pieces and I think overall the puzzle still looked beautiful and amazing it didn't affect the look too much um, so like I'm not too bothered by it um, but yeah so apart from that um, I yeah I had a really fun experience with this one and really loved it so yeah I had a really great time with Minty Fizz Puzzles um, I've got another one of theirs to try which hopefully I can do soon definitely looking forward to it and yeah I definitely would uh, get more of their puzzles I think they're really just a really nice brand and then uh, another new brand that I tried is this one called Sunshine Puzzles and this is called Graphic Pastels 1000 Pieces and this is actually from um, a Kickstarter that they did although I think you can buy these now uh, like from their store and it's like even though it's 1000 pieces it comes in this like super thin box and yeah this one's just this sort of like very abstract mostly pastel design like sort of these pale purple violets and mauves and the navies and greys and things um, but yeah it was a very I don't know I just felt like doing one that was just kind of chill and relaxing like I actually quite even though the colors are more muted I thought they were like pretty yeah relaxing easygoing colors so yeah um, this one was actually I thought it'd be really easy with like the bold colors and shapes but it was actually trickier than that than I thought so it did take me a little while to get it done um, but yeah as for the uh, pieces they were kind of really interesting actually so nothing like I've done before so um, 
Yeah, how do I? Okay, so they're gray board and they're sort of just normal grid cut and they seem to fit together reason reasonably well. Um, I think there might have been a couple false fits, maybe? I don't know. Um, but the piece fit, I don't think, I think from memory it was like a little bit on the looser side. Like I don't think I could, you think I would remember this? I do so many puzzles that I like can't remember the details. I do take notes, by the way, and I do read them before I film. But do you think I remember anything? No, I don't. <laughs> anyway, um, I can't recall exactly what the fit was like. I think it was okay. Um, and the pieces are really like quite you know, medium, nice and sturdy. Um, but I had like, I guess one issue was like uh, quite a few of the pieces hadn't been cut all the way through. So like some of the sort of uh, cardboard backing like a couple of these sort of layers of it were still like stuck together or some were a little bit ripped where they'd I guess broken apart so yeah I can even see one actually where there's like some pieces here yeah they're all like they're not quite like I guess cut all the way through so if I go to pull them apart it would rip the like last sort of layer of uh, like gray cardboard or paper so yeah, I mean, I don't know if I can, if I get around to it, I will like scalpel them, I guess, but I always say that and then I like get really lazy and pack them away and never do it. So bad, bad GB. Um, but anyway, the thing that I thought was really interesting though about these is they have the most intriguing surface. It's like really like hard plastic and it's like really smooth, but there's like this extremely subtle kind of texture and it's, I don't know, it's so weird. It's like, they, they, yeah, they feel plastic, it's quite bizarre, yet it's like cardboard underneath, so I've never really seen anything like it, so really interesting. Um, they are a little bit shiny though, so that's the only thing, they're not completely matte, um, but yeah, pretty interesting. So yeah, really happy to try this brand out, um, I've got a couple other puzzles from them from the Kickstarter as well, so I'm looking forward to doing those, they're a lot more brighter than this design, um, so it'll be interesting to see uh, if the pieces are the same, I'm mean, guessing that the pieces are the same, but if um, those two end up having pieces still stuck together or not. Yeah, so that will be interesting. Uh, let's do this back up. But yeah, overall, um, you know, maybe the pieces are interesting. They have a few cons about them, but I'm still uh, glad to have tried it and yeah, looking forward to the others. And then we've got here a beautiful art and fable puzzle. So this one is from their fairly uh, recent release of puzzles and it's 1000 pieces and it is called The Lost and Found by the artist Eric Joyner and it's this really like quirky fun image of this robot family and they're walking like through New York past this Vesuvio bakery which has all, has all these donuts in the window although it is a uh, Italian bread and biscuits um, and yeah um, from what I was reading like they're actually, I think, going to church or coming from church because like the mother robot's holding a Bible. But yeah, they're all these sort of, the robots are like really retro style, like sort of those old tin, um, like, you know, 1950s, 60s sort of robots. And there's even like a sort of bum, a drunken bum hanging out here and like some sort of cat or dog creature on one of the balconies. And yeah, this was really fun to put together. Um, I actually did this as part of like a puzzle along on Instagram and I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with that. Um, and we got to, you know, all share our photos with each other in like a group chat and, you know, and you could share them on your Instagram feed or stories if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, that was fun sort of seeing everyone's progress and what everyone thought of it. Um, but yeah, everyone I think really liked it and so did I. I really love this image. It's just so weird and quirky and fun. Um, it, this was like an interesting puzzle to do because it was like a kind of a good balance of some parts were really easy like the whole bakery part was quite easy the green and the robots and stuff but then all this like brickwork and sort of browns and oranges was quite tricky um, yeah but overall really fun enjoy the image um, so if you haven't done art and fable before um, they're pretty much exactly the same in terms of pieces as that water and wines puzzle so the box and the pieces have this beautiful velvet touch finish which is like a kind of soft buttery silicon feel um, and the pieces yeah so the so surface of the pieces are like that so is the box 
um, and it's completely matte as well so you don't get any glare or sheen it's like really awesome and they're the pieces fit together really nicely you have a lovely gray board they're kind of a medium thickness I think this one I did have a couple of false fits like because it was so much like orangey brown so that's sort of not completely surprising um what else oh this these ones come with like a really nice instead of like a poster they come with like a sort of reference picture artboard so you could actually like frame that if you wanted or something so it's like really thick cardboard that the artwork's printed on so that's cool and yeah they come they don't come in a resealable bag but they come with a bonus resealable um ziploc bag so that's yeah really cool and yeah but anyway um really love art fable definitely a huge fan they always have some like gorgeous artworks and i just love the feel and the quality of their pieces and then we've just got a few more here so this one i did is uh can't talk it's from Anatolian and it's 1000 pieces and what is it called I think it's oh rainbow panda which really should be rainbow pandas because there's two here um I don't know I just like grabbed it because I thought it was just a cute fun colorful image and it I guess it is and I don't know I've got kind of mixed feelings about this so I think now that I look at the image I'm like why did I get this I mean there's nothing wrong with it it's it's fine but like I don't know I think I liked the idea of it more and then when I got it in person I'm like uh, I don't know if it really is my style even though it's colorful so it's like you know I guess this panda and it's do you call it a cub is it a panda cub a baby panda I don't know what's a baby panda called baby panda and um, anyway so two pandas here and it's sort of interesting because like all their fur is like done in this really intricate like pattern like someone's got doodled patterns all in their fur and then it's all like different rainbow colors and then like the bamboo is like different rainbow colors and the background and more patterns at the top um but yeah it's kind of a weird image actually <laughs> I don't know it's sort of random like why why are they rainbow I don't know uh, but yeah interesting but I don't know I haven't done too many Anatolian puzzles recently and I always had like this idea in my head that they were like really nice quality and I thought they were linen finish um, but like this one wasn't this one had as like you know smooth glossy pieces and the fits a bit crumbly like it doesn't stay together that well and even actually the image ends up being looking a bit blurry on the pieces like it's not as crisp as the image on the box the box itself has a bit of a like linen-y texture so maybe that's where I was like getting an idea from because I even like went and opened up an older puzzle of theirs that I'd done and that has the shiny smooth surface too it doesn't have a linen finish so yeah maybe I was getting confused and thinking it's like like linen finish because of the sort of texture on the box um, and also I guess when I first started playing with Anatolian puzzles it was like pretty early on in my uh obsession with puzzles so I probably hadn't tried anywhere near as many brands as I have now and I probably just yeah hadn't been exposed to like brands that are I guess better so yeah um so yeah I think I don't like Anatolian all that much anymore I think they're okay but I think there's just much nicer brands out there um they do have a lot of beautiful images though so yeah anyway still no regrets it's still interesting to try this one and um yeah still fun to do and it's still a colorful happy image so there we go and then I've got two here from the brand Aquarius um, and they're both 500 pieces and it's kind of weird neither of them sort of have a name like there's no name of what the puzzle image is um, it just says like random galaxy but they're both really weird quirky images so this one's like what a cat on top of a sloth on top of a llama alpaca llama I don't know um, in clouds or maybe yeah and then there's like planets and they have rainbow laser beams coming out of their eyes and then there's a rainbow and yeah it's really weird <laughs> but that's probably why I got it because it's quirky and cute and like just totally out there um but yes um I don't know the uh, 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 I think when I first got these I was like in love with the images because I just thought they were really fun and cool and different and quirky but then after doing them I'm like eh the quality's okay like the pieces are sort of brownie gray board they fit together okay but they're pretty like 
shiny and glossy. I think it was like a bit of dust, but also actually the images at like first glance look cute, but then they end up being kind of boring because close up they end up, the picture ends up being a little bit on the blurry side, but, and there's just so much big brown fur and then all this background apart from rainbows and a few planets. It's all just this purpley gray kind of cloudy stuff. So it's actually not the most exciting image ever. <laughs> um, but you know, it was fun to do and I've done like this image a couple of times now. So is what it is. Um, I think Aquarius do like a lot of sort of novelty puzzles or like band puzzles or pop culture stuff. So I'm sort of not surprised that a lot of it's like not maybe the highest quality, both in terms of image quality and the pieces, but the pieces are okay. Like they're not the best, but they're like not the worst either. They're just, they're okay. Um, so yeah. And then yeah, pretty much the same with this one, like same type of pieces and sort of the same thing. Like even though, uh, so this one has a really fun quirky image. So it's like this cat on a giant slice of pizza in space with a piece of pizza in its mouth dangling from its mouth surrounded by burritos and tacos some planets stars rainbow galaxy and then it's shooting rainbow laser beams from its eyes don't know what's going on it's pretty trippy and crazy <laughs> um, but again like the image looks more exciting on the box but then when you're like doing it as your puzzle I found like the image is like a bit more on the blurry side like, like it loses its quality a bit and because partly because of that I guess some of the detail gets lost so you all the fur just looks like brownie gray mess and then even the galaxy doesn't look that exciting anymore and yeah and the pizza looks kind of gross up like that big um so yeah again I've done this a couple times and eh, the quality is okay and yeah I'm sort of a bit I don't know less excited about the image after doing it a couple times than when I first saw it um so yeah, um, anyway, that is everything for the month of September. Um, so let's talk about my favorite puzzle and my least favorite. So let's quickly talk about the least favorite and favorite puzzles for the month of September. So my least favorite, I end up going with this, uh, I guess, no name anonymous puzzle from Aquarius. Um, we'll call it the cat on sloth on llama puzzle. Um, just because I, didn't find the image that exciting after all and also the image quality kind of was reduced when doing it as a puzzle so it looks okay on the box but then when it's blown up to fit a 500 piece puzzle size it was a bit like blurry and you just it just felt like you were in a sea of brown fur and gray purpley clouds so it kind of lost its appeal a bit and yeah, the quality just wasn't as nice as some of the other puzzles. Um, it wasn't like the most terrible quality ever. It was okay, kind of more on the cheaper side, but, and kind of glossy pieces, but yeah, just, there were just much nicer quality puzzles in September. So yeah, that's why this one is my least favorite. And then for my favorite, I had a really hard time choosing because I really liked a lot of the puzzles and there were some that just had really beautiful quality and I had a luxurious, you know, uh, enjoyable experience with a lot of them but I decided to go with the Minty Fizz Puzzles Gilded Berries puzzle just because I really love the artwork I think it's really like beautiful and colorful definitely my kind of thing um, and I just really enjoyed my first time doing one of the Minty Fizz puzzles I had a really nice time with the piece quality and the overall like packaging quality the whole the brand as a whole is just really high quality and you can tell just a lot of thought and love and care has really gone into making such a wonderful brand. So yeah, just had a really fun and enjoyable puzzling experience doing this one and really want to do more from the brand. That was all the puzzles that I completed during the month of September. Unfortunately, there weren't quite as many as I would have liked. I got a bit sick and I was also quite busy. So that was a bit of a bummer. Otherwise, I feel like I probably would have got a few more done at least. But from the ones I did complete, I was very happy. I think overall there was some like really gorgeous colorful designs and like lots of really nice quality puzzles as well and there was a bit of a location places theme going on we had like a trip to new zealand and then we went on a you know trip to california and copenhagen and even new york and some places in australia as well so yeah lots of puzzle traveling which i thought was really fun so in the comments below, let me know what you thought of the puzzles that I completed for the month of September. And let me know what were some of your favorite puzzles that you did during September. 
If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love. And for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore jibby where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.